today we commence the Holy Week, a time of special importance. It's also a time we remember how God's uh, plans subverted the worldview, how God's plan of salvation contradicted uh, the plans and uh, the aspirations of uh, many worldly minds. On this uh, Palm Sunday, church ceremonies start with the uh, blessing of palms and a solemn procession into the church, uh, remembering Jesus' saw solemn entry into Jerusalem. He walked into the city through the eastern gate, uh, accompanied by the shouts of uh, so many people, a gate through which uh, they believed the Messiah would enter the city. The difference was uh, they expected a warrior-like king to be the Messiah in uh, that uh, city on a horse or something uh, like that fitting for a warrior. Whereas Jesus, as a king of peace, mounted on a donkey and on his humble back entered the city to the shouts of joy and praise of so many. In the city as he was tried for uh, treason and uh, blasphemy, the high priest uh, of the Jewish religion, as a prophecy said, it is necessary for one man to die for the whole humanity, for the whole country and for the people. That's what he said. That means for the whole humanity. He didn't realize that uh, the one he is going to condemn is the one who is glorified by God and uh, he is the one to save his people and not only his people, the wider people of God from all parts of the world. His and his companions' uh, understanding of God's people was subverted there. Salvation is no more restricted to Israelites. The one who was uh, crucified on Calvary was deserted by even his uh, close associates and disciples. But this was not an abandonment by God. Even in that uh, total rejection, apparent rejection, in a situation which apparently wouldn't reflect any hope, the centurion an outsider, a Gentile man, professed who Jesus really is. Truly, he is the Son of God, he said. Yes, God's revelation of himself and his love through his only Son was revealed not to, not just to the so-called privileged uh, people, but to everyone who is uh, open enough to look at Jesus, look at God, and listen to his uh, 
prompting. This was a great uh, profession of faith. And the one who was uh, put into a grave and was sealed with a stone came out of uh, that place of death bringing joy and new life. This too was uh, totally unexpected by the people who did not have faith in Jesus. So in all this, what we commemorate during this week, we are invited to see and look into our lives with the prism of uh, good news, good news of Jesus, the beloved Son of God. Uh, failures may be menacing your life. You may be finding life uh, meaningless. You may see that not many people appreciate you. And do you find yourself condemned in some way or other? If you do, look through the prism of the gospel, you will see that uh, what you saw as a hopeless rejection, darkness, is in fact uh, God's uh, tool to bring greater light, enlightenment and glory in your life. You need to allow the Spirit of God to work through you to realize that. And once you do, the joy you experience in your life will be great. The passion of Christ, the suffering of the Son of God, the uh, stone that sealed the tomb is not the last verdict. There is a rising from the dead there is a resurrection, a new life. So be prepared for God's act in you, act of new life. God bless you.